The first time you unpack the LifePak AED, you should inspect it briefly to verify that it responds appropriately and wasn't damaged in shipment. The LifePak AED comes with the battery charge pack already charged and in place. The electrode pads are also already in place inside the lid. It's ready to use. You can tell by this OK sign right here. Check the OK sign. Check the use by date on the electrode package. You can see it through this window. Now we'll make sure the speaker is working. Push the lid release button to open and start the AED. You should hear the voice prompts. Call for help now. Now turn the device off. Hold this button for a few seconds until you hear. Close the lid and that's the inspection. After you've done this initial inspection, don't open the lid unless you have to. Each time you open the lid, the LifePak AED turns on and it uses up some of the battery power. Keep the user manual in a convenient place where you can refer to it if needed. The LifePak AED is easy to maintain. It does its own self-test at regular intervals to be sure it's ready. If it senses anything you should know about, it will change the OK symbol here to another symbol. You should check this display periodically to make sure it says OK. If you see another symbol instead of OK, look it up in the manual to see what it means and what you should do about it. If you ever do have to use the AED, there are a few steps you need to take so it's ready in case you ever have to use it again. Be sure to refer to the user manual for a complete description. You'll also find information there about how to replace the electrode pads and the battery charge pack when they pass their use-by date. The charge pack goes right here. Squeeze this little latch and slide the old one out. Then slide the new one in until it clicks. Replacing the electrode packet is also easy. Open the lid. Call for help now. Hold down the on-off button to turn it off so you don't use up the battery. Now disconnect the electrode plug like this. Slide out this little pin here and throw away the old electrodes. Put the pin from the new electrode packet back into this same slot here. Plug the connector in. Center up the package and tuck the edge under this little lip here so you can close the lid. Make sure you can see the new use by date through this little window again. And there, all done. Some LifePak AEDs come with a soft case. Put it on like this. It closes with these Velcro straps. And finally, where to store the LifePak AED. You should keep it in a central location, preferably near a phone so you can call 911 while you're getting the AED. Put it someplace where it's easy to see and easy to grab in an emergency. Make sure everyone knows where it is, and if you take it out, be sure to put it back in the same place. So there you are. That's the video overview of the LifePak AED. Like I said before, you might want to watch it more than once to get confident with how to use the LifePak AED. Even with an AED as easy as this, the more familiar you are with it, the faster you'll be able to use it, if you ever need to.